I've always trusted my parents throughout my whole life, and up until yesterday, they'd always told me the truth no matter how hard or uncomfortable it was. Dad, who built the pyramids? Well, Charles, it was those goddamn aliens. Yes, Pop Pop. They wouldn't just sugarcoat it for me because I was a kid. They would always hit me with the fucking truth, no matter what, even if I wasn't ready to accept it. And they never kept anything from me. There was no secrets in my family. I recall asking my father one time, why doesn't Uncle Harry come to Thanksgiving anymore? I hadn't seen him for a while and I just assumed maybe my family was mad at him for something like, you know, maybe he cheated in Halo 2 or something and now they just can't stand to look at him. Now they're disgusted with him. But then dad sat me down and he said, look son, he overdosed on heroin. You won't be seeing Uncle Harry anymore. So naturally I asked, well, what's heroin? And he just said, I'll show you when you're older. The thing is, my parents weren't afraid to just answer any question I had with the utmost truth. They were always honest and told me everything. So you can imagine my shock and surprise when the internet showed me yesterday that I have a Puerto Rican twin brother. ¿Qué está pasando, mi gente? Este critical puertorriqueño. Nada más quería decirle que me acabo de cagar el culo. Woo! Yeah, baby! His name is Nathaniel, and if Dominic Toretto taught me anything, it's how to identify family when I see it. And you know what I see? I see family. Now I found a translation for what he says because unfortunately I can't understand my own brother it seems. Uh, I'm not fluent in the language. So I looked up the translation. He says, uh, let me pull up the transcript. What's happening guys? It's critical Puerto Rican. Just wanted to say, I just shit my ass. I mean, when you're, we're cut from the same cloth. Uh, Nathaniel and I. What more can really be said? My dad's sack had better surprises than Santa Claus. He nut-busted two super geniuses into this world, it seems. Now, obviously, I don't think we're actually related by blood. We're related by something much stronger. Shitted ass. Though I'm also not convinced that he's just my doppelganger. I think this truly is me from a different timeline that has collided with ours and now we're able to observe two Charleses at the same time. But during this Charles's wacky adventures through the multiverse, a different path was taken. You see, the hair is 2018 Charles White hair. He's got the exact look that I did in 2018. Curious. So perhaps this is me from the past with a couple of other modifications to the timeline. I, I'm no quantum physicist. I, I don't understand the inner workings of it. I'm, I'm sure someone much smarter than I could explain. But one thing that is for sure is I'm real fucking happy I did make a TikTok account. For those that don't know, I made a TikTok like almost a year ago now. Huge Charles, feel free to follow it. In fact, you should follow it. But the reason I'm happy I made this account is so I can read comments on TikTok now. So I got to learn a little bit about Nathaniel, and I felt like a proud older brother kind of checking in and see how it's going over there. So it turns out he's a little shorter than I am. Fucking rough pussy! That's right, I stole the extra height. That's me, baby. Bang! Now, I don't want to go too deep into his like actual personal information. Just from reading the comments, uh, I'll let that just stay on, on his TikTok if he wants to talk about those things. But yeah, I'm also going to openly admit that some of the comments actually had me giggling. So hats off to the people on TikTok that left some bangers on that video. Actual pretty good shit. Uh, yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about here for this. Uh, a lot of people sent me this video, and I just found it to be just really good, and I just wanted to talk about it for a little. That's about it. See ya.